Good Friday evening, Southeast Texas. Looks like a stormy forecast for Saturday for some, but not all. A marginal risk of severe weather. That's a 5% chance in the Triangle and a 15% chance of severe weather up in the Lakes area. Uh, that is a slight risk coming up tomorrow. Looks like wind and hail the main issues at this time. Here's your timetable. I expect a quiet night tonight. However, as we head towards, say, 9, 10 a.m., we ought to start seeing scattered showers and storms, particularly up in the lakes area. And then by about noontime into the early afternoon hours, a healthy chance of a strong, possibly severe thunderstorms up in the lakes. The big difference between who's going to get what and may not see much in the triangle at all. But because of the uncertainty, we'll go with a 40% coverage here in the triangle. Then as we head on in to uh, the evening hours, things ought to be taming down. And it looks like a quiet night Saturday uh, night into Sunday morning ahead of another round of strong to severe thunderstorms. And Sunday, everybody is under a slight risk, a 15% chance of severe weather. And that means maybe an isolated tornado. It also means uh, wind and hail damage possibilities. It's all being caused by this disturbance right here on Saturday. This is the first one. The second one is over into the eastern Pacific. So we've got two disturbances we're watching. This first one, the reason that we're not going to see as much as what we think is going to happen on Sunday is because it heads towards the northwest. Can you see that? It's northwest of our area, still close enough to generate storms in through northwestern sections of our viewing area. Then the second one moves a lot deeper into Texas. And that moves mainly east rather than towards the north and west of our area. So that's one of the reasons that we do expect a better chance of storms in our forecast for Sunday. So tonight, warm front lifting up out of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, patchy fog, a pretty good bet. Maybe a 20% coverage of showers, low temperatures, mid to upper 60s. First half of the day, well, the first third of the day looks pretty quiet in southeast Texas. Now, as we head towards the noontime hour, into the early afternoon hours, notice I'm going to show you two forecast models and show you the uncertainty because it is not clear which is right. This particular model, it's a high resolution model, RPM model, keeps the storms off towards our north and west. Look at that. And nothing in southeast Texas, very little. However, the European says, uh-uh, storms up in the lakes area may clip I-10. That's a possibility. So who's right? We don't know. We'll go basically compromise and go with the right or the more certain model, which right now we think that uh, there's a chance of storms, obviously, with the European uh, and even into the triangle. So that's what we're going to go with right now. It may be better if the European is wrong. Otherwise, looks like even more storms coming up on Sunday. On the Gulf of Mexico, slightly choppy seas around 1 to 3 feet expected at a southeast wind at 10 to 15 knots, water temperature at 64 degrees. Our forecast tonight, uh, cloudy skies, patchy fog, and mild temperatures, lows in the mid to upper 60s. And then for your Saturday, we'll give it a 70% coverage in the lakes and a 40% coverage in the triangle. It may be better than this in the triangle tomorrow. High temperatures, middle to upper 70s to near 80. Extended forecast, everybody going to get uh, at least a thunderstorm activity on Sunday, 90 to 100 percent coverage. The front goes by early Monday, and we'll see decreasing cloudiness. Tuesday looks like the warmest day we've seen this year. Possibility in the mid-80s, more dry weather right on into Wednesday. Another cold front coming in on Thursday. That means cooler weather as we head on into Friday of next week. Could be cooler than what I have here. Otherwise, again, the weekend, download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and there's more weather at 12newsnow.com weather to keep abreast of the weather this weekend. Stay safe and have a good weekend.